There are also masking fluid layers you can add which work similarly to layer masks, but are more complicated to use. Create a layer to use as the masking fluid layer. Paint the area you want to serve as the mask with any color. Reducing the opacity of the layer can be helpful so it doesn't distract you. Next, create a new layer beneath it. This will be the layer that will be influenced by the masking fluid. On the masking fluid layer, you can choose from two different options for masking. Mask opaque or mask transparent. Let's choose transparent. An M icon appears next to the masking fluid layer. Now paint on the influenced layer beneath and see how the paint stays trapped within those boundaries. I can go back a bit and try it with mask opaque, and now the masking fluid is preventing me from painting within the fluid, much like its traditional namesake. As you can see, this gives very similar effects to using a clipping mask or a layer mask. In a sense, clipping and layer masks are an improved version of masking fluid, but masking fluid does still have some unique features that set it apart. It may feel more intuitive to use masking fluid if you're trying to emulate that particular technique in traditional media.